there's a person here that when you are sleeping at night you see animal chasing you please come let us pray together allow God to help you you see animals chasing you you see animals chasing you and there's another one who always sees snakes in the dream snakes in the dream the last one you dreamed was a big snake and it wanted to swallow you all of you are dreaming animals those who are dream who dream snakes come this side those ones who dream animals go the other side start with the one of a snake you dreamed a snake you were fighting with a snake and you ran away and this snake was chasing you wanting to swallow you is this one hello it's you you dreamed a big snake that wanted to swallow you yes. sometimes I even dream sometimes it bites and sometimes it bites you. This is a familiar spirit that comes from your home. And each time this happens, I hear it is when you have a promise of a business. It's true. It's true. Where is your husband? He's at the peace job. He's at the peace job. Yes. When there's a good business pro promise, you dream the snake. It's true and it bites you and the promise fades in Jesus name out out you snake come out the mighty name of Jesus what are you doing what are you doing destroying them you are destroying them yes why are you destroying them why are they still here hey we want to finish them you are destroying them because yes. you want to finish them. Why? Now I command you in the name of Jesus. Hey, leave them I'm in the Jesus' name. I'm the master of the universe. You're the master of the yes. universe. I destroy men in this church. You destroy yes. men. Yes. Many they are out. It was me. It was you. Yes. So Why are they still saving? Yeah. You don't want them to save. Yes. Many are discouraged here. Yeah, they they are still standing because the, there is no way they can go. There is no way yeah, they can they go. They want your mom to give them money. Oh. Yes. They know if they can go, no one will support them. They know That's why they, they remain here because they want your mom's money. Oh. Yes. And you are, you are equally helping them to destroy <laughs> themselves. Yes. Yes. Ask them. They are not here because they want the word. They are here because they want money. They are here because yes. they want money. Yes. So why do you want to destroy this one in particular? Because they've got light. They've got light. Yes. The light. We were supposed what? to take them and use them for. They were supposed to serve us. Or you wanted to use them falsely. Yes. To support, to serve you. Yes. Now you can't. This light. They are heavy. It was supposed to serve under mine. They serve you. Oh, yes. they were supposed to serve under you. Yes, many that we are using them. They are stupid. Now listen to me. <laughs> I command you to leave them now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out! Crawl and come out! Out! In the name of Jesus. You evil snake. Out! In Jesus' name. Leave. 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 In Jesus' name. Leave. 
leave. Come out. Come out. Come out. Leave the children of God. Lift up your hands. Come out. In Jesus' name. My sister, you are free. You were delivered. My name is Michelle Mashishe. I'm coming from Clayview. Today during the service, Prophetess Tendo Simona located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. What the woman, what, what the woman of God is, was saying is true. Most of the time I dream snake and sometimes he's chasing me and then sometimes it will bite me. So every time when we plan things, me and my husband, it will fall apart. So what the woman of God is saying is true. And how has this affected you? It affected us badly because sometimes our financial is low. Everything that we are playing is just scattered. Everything we touch is just scattered. So everything she was saying is true. And how do you feel that today the woman of God located you and ministered upon your life and even delivered you? I feel so light because it was what I wanted in my life, a change in my life and a change in my husband's life. So I feel so light and I'm very happy today that I'm free and we are free from this spirit. And I, I thank God for that. You dream animals chasing you and you always wake up while you are still running. Yes. Hmm? Yes. In Jesus' name, you demon, I command you out of my sister's life. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out! From today, you will dream those animals anymore. In Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Fumrani Makema. Um, I'm from Sunnyside, Pretoria. Prophetess Tendo located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what she said and please confirm it. I dream chasing or uh, being chased by a lion, by, by animals, yeah, and it's true. Oh, I don't know, but they, they, were, they, they, they are main lions, like chasing me, yeah. And how has that affected you? Very bad, very bad. I, I wake up uh, being scared, like, every time, um, just, oh. Uh, scared like mm, yeah and how do you feel that today she located you and minister upon your life um, um i feel free i feel free yeah you you dream animals chasing you yes. and as they are chasing you this animal turns into a human being and becomes a spiritual husband yes to you yeah it's true and now this this thing has happened in your family that there is no marriage. Yes. Everybody has a spiritual husband. Yes. <laughs> Ouch! The name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Come out! Come out! The name of Jesus. Let me touch her here. Live my sister. Live my sister. In Jesus' mighty name. My name is Joyce Maibi. I'm from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophetess Tendo located you when she spoke upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. She said that uh, I, I always dream the animals chasing me. Then yes. And then we have a spiritual husband in our family. No one is getting married and it's true. It's true. So can you give us practical examples of what she said? Um, you did mention that she said that people in your family are not married. Can you just tell us, you know... A little bit more about that. Uh, we, we are four sisters from our family. So the first one, she got married, she came back. The second one, she got married, she came back. And 
other two is us, then we didn't get married at all. We always get a boyfriend, but it doesn't work at all. So I confirm that the spiritual husband is true. How do you feel that Prophetess Tendo located you and ministered upon your life um, regarding this reoccurring curse? I'm so happy about the prophecy because I was struggling with this for a long time. I believe after this prophecy, my life will never be the same again. Yes, I believe. And Ma, how long have you been trusting in God for marriage? It's maybe more than it's 15 years now. I've been praying, praying, but nothing was happening. But I believe after today, my life, uh, things will change. Amen. My sister, you need to forgive the father of your child. Are you hearing me? Yes. You need to forgive the father of your child. So for the sake of your children. Okay. You have a boy. Hmm? I can hear you. You have a boy. Yes. Two, two boys. And now this boy, the older one, he's starting to have anger. Yes. Hmm? Mm, forgive much. his father. Okay. Because he thinks he's portraying what he's seeing in you. Oh, Forgive his father. Okay. And allow God to heal your children and bless you. All right. Yeah? Okay. In Jesus' name. My name is Sagami Baloi. I come from Raven, Old Fonsfontein. Today during the service, the women of God located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. The women of God, uh, Prophetess Tendo, has called people who are dreaming animals. So I manifested, I went forward. When I get there, she proceeded, she prophesied again, again and told me that uh, I've got... Uh, I, I've got the, the problem of not forgiving. He said, uh, I must forgive my, my, my the, the father of my children because uh, it's like he, he's, he's just, he just wants to destroy me and it also affects my children. So my children are having anger. He, told, he talked about anger. So that is true because I've seen my child being angry, he will fight with people, he's drinking, he's smoking, was not smoking, but now he's smoking every now and then. So I'm having, I, I was having that problem. I think today, because the prophetess has managed to see that uh, the, the problem is going to fade away. Uh, so I thank God. I also want to thank God of Prophet, Pro, Prophet uh, J.B. Makananesa to help me. Said that the reason you're facing this challenge is because of unforgiveness. Um, can you please take us through that? I'll, I'll, I'll be angry with him, you know. I'll talk to him when I talk to him. Every, I'm also having anger, there's nothing that I, I, I can explain, but I'm, heavy, I'm also having anger every time when I speak to him. I'll be angry, he will provoke me to an extent of ex exploding. Yeah, so it's what I faced. So I didn't know that um, I'm, I'm making myself to, to be stuck because of, of that anger that is causing me. Uh, so I thank God for revealing that and telling us that so that I can be able to uh, forgive. Amen. Uh, so I forgave him. Amen. The reason I said come this side I saw a child smoking the badge. Yes. Hmm? And you were crying, God, this child. Yes. Please, parents, I know we children sometimes we do things that are unspokable, shameful things, but I beg you. Don't ever open your mouth and curse your children. Don't allow your anger to render your child useless. Are you, I'm not only talking to this mama. I'm talking to all of us as parents. Don't allow your anger for you to ever say with your mouth, you are useless. There's no child that God will give you that is useless. 
rather keep praying for your children. Because while we are here, sometimes have we? Because of this thing that is smoking. I'm going to pray for you. And my prayer is when you get home, find him waiting for you. Don't chase him away, I beg you. What did I say? Don't chase him away. We are praying now that he must return. You're going to find him when you get home. Don't chase him away. Allow him to come home. Keep praying for him. God will change him. Are you hearing me? Yes. Please lift up your hands. In Jesus' name. Close your eyes, man. In Jesus' name. Father, I break the bond of the enemy over this boy's life. In the name of Jesus. And I set him free. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever he is, let him be free. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Mama, you are free. My name is Muhadim Mubango. I come from Timbis. Today during the service, Prophetess Tender located you and she ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Yes, that was she was saying. It was true. My children, anything is working for them and uh, nothing is working for them. They're trying. I'm praying for them, but nothing, nothing, nothing is working for them. What she was saying is true. She also became specific about your son. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. That one is true that she was saying. He's starting to to smoke some marijuana and some those things for the bottles. Said it's bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly. Yes. And how has this affected you as a parent? No, it's very hard. It's it's not right. It's very hard. Very, very hard for me. I'm I'm praying but today I know when she touches it which means it's finished. Yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet has located you and ministered upon your life? I'm very happy because when she she prayed for me, I know it's over. Amen. Yes. In Charis, whatever they pray for you, that problem is solved. Amen. Yes. My sister, let, let, let me let me talk to you. The last person I talked to. Yes, come. Did you resign at work? 16, but now I'm permanently in board somewhere else. There's going to be a reshuffling. Okay? Okay. In your working place. Yes. That will make you feel it's better I resign. Don't resign. Okay. There's going to be a reshuffling. It's already happening. In your work. That will make you feel it's better I resign. Do not resign. Okay. Remember when you were asleep, you dreamed or you saw in a vision. You were wearing your uniform, helping a lot of people. Yes. What's happening now? It's leading you to your dream. In Jesus' name. My sister, you are free in Jesus' name. My name is Domvula Mfugeng. I'm from Kempton Park. Today, during the service, Prophet has tender located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what she said to you and please confirm it. She first mentioned to me that she asked me that um, did I resign. And then I told her that I resigned before. It was 2016. And then she said again to me that if I have a mind of resigning because of what is happening at my workplace. And then I confirmed it to be to be correct because uh, really what's happening now it's not okay the working condition there 
it's not good for me. Uh, in some other times, I would think of resigning again, but she, she advised me not to resign. I must just continue to work, then God will do something for me. Amen. And how has the working conditions and everything that's been happening at work been affecting you? Uh, it's been affecting me. That's why I had a uh, mind of resigning because uh, I can feel uh, the way they're treating me. Even if I didn't do anything wrong, like it's like anything comes back to me that I'm wrong. So it was an oppression to me, actually. And how do you feel that today? Prophetess Tendo located you, ministered upon your life, and even guided you that you shouldn't resign. I feel free and I'm happy now because I was a bit distracted with whatever was happening there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you who were here in front, you are free in Jesus' name.